Hello and welcome to Sue Online. Today we're at the Station Mall. We're interviewing Paul Matthewson about the public demonstration and protest against Kathleen Wynne's new sex edu education curriculum. Now, is this more of a political thing against Wynne, the Wynne government, or does it uh, have substance against it? the proposed sex education program. It's not a protest against a political party or against Kathleen Wynne in particular. What, what we're concerned about is the implementation of, of a new uh, sex education curriculum that some people believe is at odds with the uh, fundamental beliefs of their, of their family. So we, we wish that this could get postponed until there's been a better consultation. What grades are going to be taught this program and are there going to be specialized teachers teaching it? No, it's uh, going to be uh, taught uh, from uh, from the, through the whole of the uh, of the elementary education right through high school. So it's a it's 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 comprehensive. Mm -hmm. And how about the teachers? Are just All the, the teachers will be involved. In fact, there, is, there are going to be training sessions to help the teachers to know how the program is to be implemented. And that is, is, has been ongoing and it's, going to, and it's going to continue so that it'll be launched apparently in September, which is part of what we're concerned about. We would very much appreciate if this could get put off until there has been more consultation. Mm -hmm. The whole essence of today's demonstration is to try to say, listen, uh, parents have a right to participate in the development of that curriculum. They, they have not had an opportunity to do so. And going back to 2010, when Dalton McGuinney was their premier at that time, this same program, virtually the same, somewhat modified but virtually the same, was shelved after there was an outrage from the public about what was included. And he vowed then that it would not be implemented until there had been public consultation. That hasn't happened and that's what we're saying is the reason for this demonstration today. Mm -hmm. It's been reported that in, in this program uh, they touch on anal and oral sex. Is that true and uh, how are they going to go about discussing those two subjects? Well that, that's a very good question and, and you're right those are the subjects that are included there. That's part of, the, part of the reason why there needs to be better consultation. I don't know how it's going to be discussed and apparently there's some latitude on the part of the teachers to decide how, how those subjects will be discussed but nonetheless uh, we'd like to have a better a better participation in knowing that in the case where some parents don't want their children to have to be part of that discussion or to hear the instruction about that, 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 that it won't happen. The basic problem here is that parents have the first responsibility at educating their children. And the Ministry of Education recognizes that. So what we don't want to have happen is that children will go to public school and, and, and there will be listening to attitudes, positions and whatnot on sexual matters that are at odds with the values from the family at home. That's mm -hmm. part of the whole problem that needs to be resolved. It could be done if there was a consultation with the ministry and, and proper curricula were, were developed. Okay, just a thought here. Uh, the teachers, I think, are going to be somewhat nervous about discussing the subject and then you bring these two uh, topics into it uh, that's going to make it even worse don't you think I, if i were a teacher the answer is yes but i'm not a teacher the problem is that the ministry has the right to implement whatever curriculum it wants and this is a this is a problem especially for the catholic school board the catholic school board are quite adamant that they do not want to be teaching things that are, are at odds with with catholic positions mm -hmm. uh, i know I, from talking with the with the principal at notre dame des écoles it was made clear that they would not do that now that runs into a problem because their their funding could be withdrawn if they don't cooperate with what the ministry is is implementing so we got a problem here there's no question about it. but the problem could be resolved if the ministry would simply say, okay, we, let's listen to the parents, let's have a public forum, let's have the opportunity of parents participating in the development or the modification of this curriculum so that it's satisfactory. The, so the, the main problem that has to get re resolved here is that when children go to school and listen to a presentation about sexual matters that are very sensitive, that it is not an affront to the values that they've been taught at home. That's mm -hmm. the central problem that has to be resolved. It could be resolved in, with public consultation. This protest is mostly about who should be teaching our children about sex. Uh, and in my experience, parents tend 
to shy away from the subject with their children? Uh, what do you think about that? Everybody shies away from it. And, and there's no question about the fact that, we, that children have to learn. But it is necessarily the parent's first responsibility to undertake to do that. Now, if the ministry says, well, the parents are going to do it, we have to do it, then that's another way of saying that we are going to co-parent these children. Well, there's something fundamentally flawed about that. If there's a problem at home, then there's a problem at home, and, and not discussing things that need to be discussed. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, it's still not the way to resolve it, to have, the, have this whole matter turned over to the school board. Do the parents have the option of having their child opt out of it? No, the Ministry of Education has made it clear that if any part of the program is an affront to the parental values, that they have the right through a written request to have their child removed from that part of the program. Now, my position on that and the position of most of the people you'll see here today is that's unsatisfactory because exclusion is not accommodation. The program needs to accommodate all the children that come to school so they aren't singled out as not being able to take part in a particular part of the program. Mm -hmm. These problems can get resolved. They could get resolved if the ministry would only allow some kind of participation in the development of the program and the implementation of it. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm.